So this may come as a surprise to some of you, but the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, has found himself in yet another scandal. I know, him, of all people, he's so ethical. Uh, no, this time, he apparently decided that his uh, campaign contributors and more wealthy Floridians should be able to jump the line when it comes to COVID vaccinations. Yeah. So as CNN's Rosa Flores and Sarah Weisfeld reports, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is facing bipartisan criticism and a call for a federal investigation after the state set up invitation-only COVID-19 vaccination clinics in at least two upscale communities. One prominent developer in two communities donated to DeSantis's campaign in amounts of $25,000 and $50,000 between 2018 and 2019 for a total of $125,000, according to campaign finance records. The exclusive vaccine clinics allowed about 6,000 people to jump ahead of tens of thousands of seniors on wait lists in Manatee and Charlotte counties where the drives happened. DeSantis has been fending off criticism about the pop-up sites, even threatening to move a clinic that his state set up in an affluent, mostly white community in Manatee County after he was confronted with allegations of political favoritism. Vanessa Baugh, chair of the board county commissioners of Manatee County, revealed the origins of the vaccine drive at the Lakewood Ranch community community after her emails obtained by CNN and other media outlets through an information request showed Baugh asked county workers to pull a list of potential vaccine recipients from only two zip codes who would then participate in a state-sponsored vaccine drive. Baugh said at a public county commissioner's meeting that DeSantis called Rex Jensen, the CEO of the parent company of the Lakewood Ranch community, about setting up a vaccine drive and that Jensen called her for help setting up the drive. A news release on the Manatee County website says it aimed to vaccinate vaccinate 3,000 people over three days. So their excuse basically is, look, it's not what it looks like. We promise you. It's not like we were trying to specifically allow our campaign contributors and rich friends jump the line. Uh, we just set up the uh, vaccination sites in these two particular areas because these were the only areas that were able to accommodate large vaccine sites, you see? So it's not, <laughs> it's not exactly what it looks like. Um, okay, let's assume that that's true. Uh, they also should probably speak to this. Quote, Kingsgate and Grand Palm have something else in common. They were developed by one of DeSantis's donors, Patrick Neal, a real estate developer and former Florida lawmaker. Oh, so the plot thickens even further, in other words. Now, um, to give you some more details about these communities, Kingsgate is a 55-plus gated community, and uh, Grand Palm was described in the article as... A resort-style community. Not shocking at all. So what DeSantis is saying to defend himself now is that it's not just rich white people getting vaccinated because half of the vaccines went to seniors in Broward and uh, Palm Beach counties. Except that's not really the point that people are making. When there's a limited supply and you choose deliberately to distribute additional vaccine doses, not based on, you know, need, not based on whether or not somebody is old or immunocompromised, based on people who contributed to your campaign in more affluent, wealthy areas of Florida, that's the issue. Because what you're kind of saying is that these lives of rich, powerful political elites and political allies are actually more important than non-elite people. The peasants, their lives matter less than these individuals in these zip codes who we chose to allow to jump the line so they could be protected first. That's what the issue is here. And I think this is pretty obvious. Anything that he's saying is nothing more than obfuscation. I mean, Ron DeSantis is a Trumpian Republican. He has been involved in multiple scandals again and again. And you'd think that one scandal, I mean, Theoretically, it should ultimately tank his career, but the outcome of scandals in the post-Trump era is very comparable to scandals in the Trump era. Scandals only embolden corrupt politicians. It's just further proof that the liberals are against them and they're looking for any excuse to try to penalize them. It's not actually that they're genuinely corrupt. It's that, you know, this is just evidence that, you know, the Democratic Party, they're engaged in witch, witch hunts. But the issue here is that there is bipartisan criticism here. Um, but of course, Ron DeSantis is disingenuous. He's not going to address that. He is just basically trying to lie. But uh, let's be clear here. This is exactly what it looks like, because in the United States of America, a late stage capitalist society 
we absolutely value the lives of elites more so than the lives of the peasants. And Ron DeSantis is just putting that into practice in a really explicit way, and he was hoping that nobody would pay attention to this. But unfortunately for him, that's not the case. So I think that the details of this story speak for itself. Ron DeSantis wanted people who were his political allies, who contributed to his campaign and helped him get elected, get the vaccine first before people who he viewed were less important. Not surprising at all if you know anything about Ron DeSantis.